Gemma Kennedy, the head teacher of Bankery Primary School. Back at the beginning of our school session, we used to meet as house groups and we asked ourselves, was this a valuable use of our time and what were our pupils actually getting from this? So from these discussions, the dates were already in the diary and we thought about how else can we use this time productively and we came up with the idea of junior leadership teams. And from this, we came up with the types of things that we want to improve in our school and staff members took this on, took leadership roles for each group and each pupil applied for a group and we've been up and running since October. October time. What an amazing thing here has happened at Bankery Primary School. The impact in allowing our children to have such a big say on the decision making process uh, of all the big key decisions that we can do here at Bankery has just been transformational. We've got our maintenance crew, leadership team, Bankery Parliament, fundraising committee, a global citizenship group, the list goes on but the children are engaged, they're enthusiastic and they are absolutely uh, for me transformed they are around the school there's a positive ethos they are enjoying running our school and having a big say and that for me has been the biggest thing here so far this year is they want more of it and the staff want more of it as well we're going to be trying to organize our sports week and we're going to be looking at organizing a p trip for the winning class in the term your class one if you're class one, where I'm do you think you would like to joy. go? I'm class like one. Jump joy. Jump joy. I know. Okay. Having now established these junior leadership teams, it has made a massive difference to Bankery and to me as a head teacher. It has significantly reduced my workload um, in terms of things that I have to do. We use Trello as our to-do list and everything that normally sits on that, I've been able to assign out using our digital technologies to our different teams. So although we only meet once a month, we actually um, coordinate our assignments through using Microsoft Teams and that has made the process so easy and things get done so quickly. The introduction of the Teams has been absolutely fantastic for the school. We have done amazing things such as the end of term we had a fantastic Bank Who's Got Talent which saw the organisation done from the pupils right through to the presentation on the day, right through to the performances on the day and inviting parents, getting raffle prizes, everything like that, everything ready for the show. We've had an, a music speaker and introduced to the school which if I had got delivered to my office I didn't have a clue what to do with it. I signed it to my tech team, they got it set up, up and running, they know where to store it, who takes it out, how to set up the music list. It's only out last week and the pupils were saying they'd like other songs on it, they told me the songs, I emailed it straight to my, um, to my tech team and it's, the list is updated just like that, it's fantastic. The sports committee have even chosen our new football strips. They talked about the colour, the design, what they wanted the socks to look like, the shorts to look like. They came in last week, quality assurance check, are we happy with it? Do we want to send anything back? Do we want to change anything? They loved it and we cannot wait to wear them. Our ground maintenance team have been involved in our playground developments and only came to us in the last month to say that they think that people are getting bored with what we've got outside so they've asked us to put an appeal out for more loose parts play. Now that's something, so that shows me that it's really working and they feel that their voice is really valued. It's not just they meet at that month, they meet at that time every month and they discuss ground maintenance. It's actually ongoing all the time, they're monitoring it and they're coming back to us as a junior leader, a leadership team telling us how we can make things better all the time. I think it was quite good when we were working like as a big team trying to think of good stuff that we could do to make Bankway better. Yeah, it's given pupils more of a chance of making them more confident and showing their ideas. It's fun, we get to do coding, well not really coding, we get to buy new stuff, fix new stuff, free up space and it's pretty fun because everyone gets a shot of playing each thing. We've been organising sports events and trips out of school to do sport. The children use software called Microsoft Teams and on that they are able to then set agendas, complete assignments, set their own assignments and then share that with everyone in the senior leadership team, allowing us to have an opportunity to sometimes set some assignments, but more importantly, give us an opportunity to see what's going on and allow the children to feel part of the decision process. Lots of research out there telling us that if we allow the children to be part of the decision making process, they will buy into it more. It's not tokenistic, we're trying not to treat it tokenistic, we are here to ensure that the children feel part of the school. It's their school, they're helping to run the school in a positive direction. And that's what Microsoft Teams has allowed our school to do this year. A big part of our leadership team's uh, focus. We're making a YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to put emails and make good.
a bank, get the bank regarding a bank document. Uh, and we went around all of the leadership teams and got videos. Yes, thank you, guys. Of, like, like close ups. New headphones, we bought a uh, outdoor waterproof speaker because we raised enough money to do it. The junior leadership teams have been fantastic because they've actually reduced my workload. I would say they've actually taken about a quarter of my workload off me on a, a regular basis because there's things that I don't need to think about because I can send it to the pupils to make the decision about and then they come back and then we see the impact of it.